to hear again. Uh, go ahead and read the question, please. The sum of the reciprocals of two consecutive integers is 15 over 56. Find the two integers. Very good. So we want to find the consecutive integers. When we talk about the consecutive integers, uh, we are looking at like when you have 1, 2, 3. These are the consecutive integers. If I assume the first number here is x, what would be the next number after that, anyone? x plus 1. Very good. So it's x plus 1. So the next one after that would be, obviously, x plus x 2. Plus and so, two. On. so we're talking about the, the two consecutive integers. So we're going to let the first one be equal to x, and the one after that would be x plus 1. So in this case, it says the sum of the reciprocal of two consecutive integers. So how do you how do you write that reciprocal? What's the reciprocal of x? One over x. One over x. So it would be one over x plus the reciprocal of the next number after that would be what then? One over x plus one. 1 over x plus 1, right? They're saying this would be equal to 15 over 56. So this is how you set up the problem here. 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 must be equal to 15 over 56. So who can tell me what would be the next step here? What do we do to solve for this? Okay, somebody typed LCD. That's correct. So what is the LCD here? Okay, we have somebody type LCD is 56 times x times x plus 1, which is correct. Okay, very good. So what are we going to do with that? We can multiply each term by LCD, which is 56x times x plus 1 over 1. Okay, if I distribute this, can somebody tell me uh, what do I get for the first term? Okay, 1 over x times the LCD. The x uh, cancels. So what do we get here, anyone? Well, anybody with the mic, you can Contribute. We get 56 times x plus 1. Everybody see that? Okay, how about the second term? What do we get for the second term? 56x. Mm -hmm. the x plus 1 cancels, so we get 56x only for the second term. Good job. And the last term, what do we get? 56 cancels. And what do we get? Um, 15 mm -hmm. times x plus 1. 15 times x times x plus 1. So how we get the linear equation in one step? So the next step would be to distribute. So we get 56x plus 56 plus 56x. Uh, if I distribute this, I would get 15x to the power of 2 plus 15x. I can move everything to the right side of the equation. Or I can combine the terms and then do that. So let's do it this way. We have 56x and then 56x on the left hand side. So if I add them up, what do I get? I get 56 plus 56. What do I have? have 112. 112. Very good. So 12. you get 112. So you get 112x plus 56 is equal to 15x squared plus 15x. If I go ahead and subtract 112 from both sides of the equation, 
what do I get on the right hand side? Subtract 112x. Negative 97x. Okay, good. So on the left hand side, I get 56 still here. The right hand side, I have 15 x squared minus negative 7, negative 7x. So if I subtract 56 uh, from both sides of the equation now again, so I, that's how I can move everything to one side of the equation. So let's do that. Subtract 56 from both sides of the equation. So everything goes to the right of the equation. Now I want you to think about how to factor this. We need to factor that in order to solve for, for x. So I would get a 15 x squared minus 97x minus 56, the whole thing is equal to 0. Is this factorable? Can I factor this? If I open two parentheses, uh, for 15x squared, if I use 15x and x, what are you going to use for 56? What combination give you 56? Anyone? What times will give you 56? Seven, somebody put 7 and 8. Okay, so if I put uh, 8 here and 7 here, and then you want to get minus 97 out of that. So 8x and 15 times 7, so you need to have negative 7 here and positive 8 here. So this whole thing is equal to 0. So we get two solutions. One solution would be x minus 7 is equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 7. That's, that's one of my answers. The consecutive integer, the first consecutive integer I find is 7. So the next one after that must be 8. So the answer would be 7 and 8. The next solution is not a real uh, solution that we want because we get the negative answer out of this. We don't we want a positive number. Because so here x would be equal to minus 8 over 15. We don't need that. So the answer would be the two consecutive integers are 7 and 8.